Alright, PGS XT1 on ice review. Combo. Blocker feels really light. Pads are mobile. Yeah. Nice. I also got the PPS Pro X stick. Super light. The material in the SWA. SWA is very easy. It doesn't have the trigger grip, so it's gonna be a tough review, but I'm trying to see how it is. The glove is actually really nice. It's shaped super deep, so everything that even hits the palm is just staying in. That's our palm. It's still date there. The pads are really mobile. I feel like the knee block is thicker and softer than normal pads. Which kind of makes you sit up on your butterfly. Gives that hybrid feel, and it's a flexible knee block as well, so it has a lot of flex. Oh, good rebound control too. I think the knee block being a little thicker. Initially, now it's kind of pushing me back on my butterfly, so when I go down, my balance goes back. These pads are thin, super light. I was a little worried that they might feel like three hockey pads. Ooh, that's a big trick. But they feel nice because I like to have mobility on my pads able to move. It's a puck magnet, that's what it is. vibrations on the stick. Feel good. Really good for pad stacking too. Alright, revert. Let's see how this goes off. It's a more straight boot than normal. So it's slightly harder. You hit the toe box. Here. I have to just adjust the angle I'm coming into it. But yeah, I'm having a hard time getting a good toe box here, even though I have a good amount of slack, if you can see that. This glove, man. We are friends. It feels like... Uh, 590 break with a 580 shape, which is a sweet spot for me, I think. I'm landing lower than the knee block. Maybe they're like a half an inch too tall for me on the knee. Every landing, I feel like I'm not too low. Got it, got it, got it. I got it, I got it. Woo! I didn't catch it. Come on. That was a good ball for me. But you know what? I like the strapping. Uh, my knee is staying in pretty good shape here. Because I gotta stop the break there again. There it is. My knee is staying solid in there. Base on the bottom of the cap, no heel strap, no bootstrap, nothing like that. Good mobility, light, flexible, lots of mobility. These are nice to move in. Oh. 
I got it. That counts as a save. No way. They've got like the inside of the blocker, I think. Yeah, with these pads, I feel like I have to go skate on post. How straight the boot is. Another headshot. Come on! That's two today. Alright, first game is now done with the PGS XT1 set and I was pleasantly surprised. I like my pads to have lots of flexibility, mobility, and that's exactly what these pads have. They're light. They're thin, uh, super easy to move in them. PGS is a new small gear company based out of Michigan. This is their first line. Uh, they definitely want to listen to goalies and build the gear around them and while keeping the goalies healthy. So that's one big thing that they're trying to do. Uh, like their knee block, it has three different materials. It's raised up a little bit for a soft landing, for a healthy landing on those hips and your knees. Uh, also, there's a calf, pillow, to push us out for a natural butterfly and also keeping the calf close to the eyes for a good closure. Three-way strapping system on the pads kept everything nice and tight, especially around the knees while giving the mobility on the lower part around the ankle. I took the bootstrap off, I switched the laces as the toe straps. They have the bungees as a stock option. But other than that, it's just a very light pad. Slides well with the with the weave. One thing that they're focused on is durability. Hard rebounds for a long time, good slide for a long time, so the pad shouldn't break down fast. Same kind of thing with the blocker. Light blocker, good balance. I noticed the rebounds were just flying off this thing, so it was nice to notice. It's nice and mobile here on the palm, which I like, easy to hold the stick comfortable. If you have no issues with a blocker, that's a good blocker. The glove is very interesting to me. Like I said on the ice, it kind of feels like a 590 closure with a 580 shape, but it also has the little bit of a scoop as the palm for the fingers and it's very deep. So everything that hit, even the palm, was going straight into the pocket. Uh, the pocket's nice and big, open, presents well, and like I said, it's the, the balance is good. So even low shots for the glove, I was able to kind of scoop with the fingers. So it's a very comfortable glove, catch really well. And I think one special thing for them is how they've angled this right here. So normally your hand would probably go right next to uh, the cuff here, but they have it angled. So your glove hand is coming in like this. I don't know if you can see and then that just helps with the presentation so your glove is already presenting that much more so with this little angle and I I think with the strapping inside the glove as well you can switch it and then it's gonna play more like a 590 or if you want to switch to strapping you can feel more like a 580 so it should suit you no matter how you like your glove the last part here is the stick this is the Pro X stick. It's very light, but not too light. I don't like the too light sticks. Uh, then I don't even feel like I have been using a stick at all. So uh, yeah, it had great balance. It's just in the sweet spot of, of the weight for me. It has very different material up here. I'm putting my ring on it, so hopefully you can hear it, but it slides very well. So when you're trying to play the puck, it slides right through up here. Very slippery, you can say, and it still has the grip here on this part of the paddle. For people who like the grip, it's here. Well then, different kind of feel on the shaft while playing the puck. But that's my BGS review. If you're looking for more specific stuff about this set, uh, head over to their website. They have all the specs over there. I'm just going off what I felt on the ice and kind of my, my personal preferences. So. Head over to PGS if you wanted to check more of that out. They got the customizer, they got everything out there. Innovative, high quality stuff. So it was fun skate using these.